So um, I'm engineer Salar from City Pharmacy. Uh, we are actually the dealers of this Axon company. Yeah, it's a French brand company which are one of the best in imaging systems. As you can see here, this is the new PSPX machine. It is the smallest machine you can find in the market until now, and one of the fastest and most reliable one. And as well, the look is good. So, how, how does it work, basically? To use this machine, there are special films, phosphoric plates films. They are thin, as you can see, flexible, and you can use them up to thousands of times, depending on how well you will take care of the film, you can use it up to 5,000 or 10,000 times. It comes in four different sizes. Size one for pedo, size, sorry, excuse, size zero for pedo, size one for endo, size two, which is the uh, standard size, and size three, which you can use this for bite rings as well as for occlusal imaging. Actually, for occlusal, you may ask, it's a small one, but for occlusal, there's a special cover comes with this, uh, for this one. You can, <coughs> excuse me, you can put two number three next to each other in that special cover. You put it in the mouth, do an exposure. After the exposure is done, each, uh, you'll put number one, the machine does the scanning. Number two, scanning. And the software, which is a special software designed for this machine, it will automatically recognize the images merge them together in a perfect way possible, then you can have the image here. After having the image, you can, and the uh, stuff is so powerful, you can do lots of editing with that, so, which I'll show to you in seconds. So, basically how it works, these are the disposable pouches. For every size, there's a special pouch for that size coming with, uh, with the films, okay? So, for example, let's go this one. To do an exposure, you will put the frame, it, uh, the pouch is coming in two parts. This is the protective layer, layer okay, and this is the uh, waterproof pouch. So you put the image in between of the protective layer, layer. you push it inside. Okay, then there is a small strip here, you will just remove it. Then you will seal the pouch, so you will make sure no saliva, no blood, no nothing goes inside the pouch. Okay? okay, so the film will protect it. Then after doing the exposure, okay, there is a small cut over here on both sides. So you will just remove it from here. The pouch is open again. Then you will push the, uh, the cover plus the film both together outside, then you will grab it. Okay, so then you can... Just throw it in the trash. Along with the cover, using the software which uh, you should choose the, uh, the patient because for every patient can have a separate file. Okay? So by after that one, the machine is just simply asking you insert the film. What you will do, you just leave the cover with the film inside. Automatically the machine will recognize the film. It has a sensor. So it will grab it in, does the scanning, in my computer, it will take five to six seconds maximum. In any other computer, it will take maximum up to 12 seconds. That's the maximum time. After that, the image has been scanned and been erased. So immediately, you can put it in a new pouch, new cover, immediately use it for the next patient or next exposure. Then, uh, by the way, because the film was empty, so the image is white, if it, the, there is any image or exposure done uh, by the film, you will have a preview of the image in here as well. Yes. So, when you have the image, I will just show you uh, an image which has to be, for example, this one. Okay, so this is the one of the, uh, the image that has been taken by size number three. Okay, so you have the image here. After that, you have lots of options over here. If you want to do a measurement for a special root canal, okay, you can have a measure by millimeters up to how many decimals you want. For example, here I've set it up to two decimals. So 11.39 millimeters, okay? You can have the exact measurements. You'll, in here, you will have a zoom option, okay? With the left click, you can zoom in. With the right, right click, you can zoom out, okay? Then uh, this is for full screen mode. This is because of normal window, if you want to put it in full screen mode. The next one, it's called, okay, 
border enhancement is it will uh, inf not emphasize uh, it will the borders will be more uh, exactly so by using here this cursor see the difference you can just edit the image as much as you like according to what you want so uh, then this is a video inversion so it just inverts the color black to white, white to black. Then uh, here you have a flashlight. So for example, you just want to see a part of the image brighter. So you have a flashlight of kind of ability. You can see it here. Or you can, uh, just, uh, you can do, uh, what is it called? In different filters. For example, this is the equalization. Okay, it equalizes the lights in different parts of the uh, film. Or gamma mode, okay or you can put it uh, in uh, while using a left click gamma plus gamma minus then pursue the color so it give assign a color to different parts of the uh, image of the tooth okay according to the exposure level to every part of the image okay and this is the normal equalization mode then you have the rotation of course every 45 degree by 45 degree we can rotate the image then here is the most advanced part which is the tools by clicking on the tools you have more options over here the option which is in this software especially, you have a 2D implants option. What you just basically simply click on it, you have this systems, okay, the most common systems in here. For example, I'll choose Zimmer, the type, which type, for example, Swiss Plus implant, then the thickness of the implant, the length, for example, 12, then by click on insert, you have it here. Rotate, you can rotate, right? Exactly. By the left click, you can just move it around. By the right click, you can rotate it. For example, like this. So the doctor has some idea of how the implants will be. Okay? After that, you have the drawing tool, which you can, if you want to do some drawing or uh, add a note to a part of the image. Then you have, uh, this is the delete option, so if you want to delete the image which for now we don't want to delete the image then here okay it says channels okay Colors. you can just edit the brightness and the channels of the image according to your need then here is the histogram this is of a histogram according to, as I told you according to the exposure okay level to done by each part of the tooth then here you have the reset option if I want to, for example, reset the image to the previous, uh, to the uh, main uh, image, which is done first. Okay, this is the main image. Contrast option, so you can play with the contrast, increase the contrast or decrease the contrast. Then in here, you have the density, so you can somehow have some, uh, it's not exact, of course, okay, because for to get an exact... Uh, Exactly, 3D image like those machines over there. But in here you have some, you can have some ideas. Okay, that how how is the density of the tooth? How when you click on it, the mouse cursor will be like this. Okay, so for example, I want to see the density of from here to here. Do you see it draws a line, start, and you can stop it just right here. So you can have an idea about the tooth density over there. After that, this is uh, level extraction. So by choosing this one, different parts will be somehow emphasized. So you have a better idea of the, to say the tooth. After that, you have the angle measurement. For example, you want to measure this angle as an example. You'll just, by left click, you will start it. This is the end corner and up to here. So this one is 23.2 degrees. It will give you the exact uh, angle. In here you have the pseudo color, so the whole image will be, uh, it will be assigned, uh, a color will be assigned to every part of the image, as you can see. Also with that flashlight you have that ability, but that was for just a, uh, yeah, just, uh, what is it, a selected area. But here the whole area, the whole image will be affected. In here you have the flit, uh, flipping, in here you have the flipping option which you can symmetry to left or right, and to the up or down. In here, uh, this is a nice option which I liked it somehow, which uh, gives you a three-dimensional kind of image. By clicking on this one, 
you have a kind of it is a 2d but as i told you it's also it's using an exposure level to different parts okay so you can have a kind of 3d uh idea, idea about the image which you can by using this here you can have a layer by layer view of the 3d dimensional image and also using this one let me just zoom it in a little bit okay using this option which is called relief the image will be kind also a 3d would emphasize with you can easily see which part is to the phone which is the back you can have a better idea better look at the image so this is it thank you very much most welcome pleasure <laughs>